Hey guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to keep maintenance on your 10 foot by 30 inch Intex Easy Set swimming pool. So let's get started. First, I'm going to go ahead and take off the solar cover from the pool. Uh, if you hear kids splashing around and you don't see any in this pool, it's my next door neighbor. They have a pool too. They have a big pool. But um, yeah, they're having fun splashing in there now. But anyway, I'm going to take the solar cover off of our pool because we've been having a, like storms and windstorms, thunderstorms for the past couple days. And now I'm going to go ahead and clean and do maintenance on my pool. Put the solar cover on top and this helps to bring heat to the water. Um, even though it's hot and it could be 95 degrees, the water is still going to be somewhat cold. So the solar cover, it traps like warmth from the sun and warms the water so what i do is i fold the solar cover inward to keep all the debris inside the cover and then i always rinse off my cover to get anything off of it before i put the cover back on So a tip before we get started, you want to wear old clothes when you're doing maintenance on your pool, things you're not going to wear, you know, out to nice places, you know, just, just old clothes. And you want to use gloves on your hands when you're dealing with the chemicals, you know, the chlorine and the shock and different things like that. Also, wear flip-flops on your feet. Just wear something old because you're going to get wet. The first thing you want to do guys is you want to brush or either use the mitt to clean the sides and bottom of your pool. I just touch the inside of my pool and there's no scum, no slippery, icky stuff on the inside of my pool so I don't need to do that and my pool has been covered up. My pool has been covered up so I don't need to brush or use the mitt on it right now. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to skim my pool. I'm going to go ahead and skim the pool top and the bottom if I see anything in there. So coming over to the pool, you guys, for the most part, the pool is clean. Uh, what you see is just kind of the creases in the bottom, if anything. But for the most part, the pool is clean. There is a few little insects floating on the top. Um, there's no leaves in the pool because I had it covered up with the solar cover. So I'm just going to go ahead and skim off any little bugs that I see. Sometimes there's some little particles or something floating around uh, because the solar cover does have little holes in it, you know, so things can breathe and things do seep through from the solar cover. So I'm going to go ahead and skim. So that's the first thing you do is skim your pool with the leaf skimmer. The pool is pretty clear, but I don't know if you can see that there are a few insects on the top of the pool. So this is what I'm getting off right now. There's no leaves in here right now that I can see. The pool is pretty clean. So what you want to do is just skim what you see, dump it out in your grass, and it really just po it pops out really good. When you just pop it like that, everything pops right out of the net. Some people have more things in their pool than others. Like I said, there's sometimes leaves and debris. If you leave your if you leave your pool uncovered, we've had a storm and I covered my pool up pretty quick. So I don't have much in my pool. So I'm just gonna go ahead and also guys, if you have leaves or any kind of little debris in the bottom of your pool, I don't know if you can see that um, through the camera lens, but there are little specks of things in the bottom of the pool. And what you want to do is you want to create a cyclonic kind of action or tornado action in your pool. You want to get the skimmer kind of halfway down or close to the bottom of the pool and start stirring like that. And that brings the debris from the bottom of the pool up so that you can grab it with the skimmer. And like I said, I don't have any big pieces in here to show you. I apologize, <laughs> but take my word for it. It comes up and you can grab it up and you just pop it in your grass and it's clean. 
also guys while you're doing maintenance on your pool you want to make sure that your filter is off I don't think it's bad if you have your filter on and you're just skimming your pool I think that's fine but when you're adding the chlorine when you're adding the shock when you're doing other different things you want to turn the filter off since the filter is turned off you guys I'm gonna go ahead Ooh, I hear that air release but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna check the filter to see. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna check the filter to see if it needs cleaning or changing. My filter is clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and close my filter back up. So when you tighten the top back on, you wanna make sure it's not leaking or anything, which mine's is not. If my cartridge had have been dirty, uh, you would have been able to see it even though I didn't take it out but it was not dirty we have not swam a lot and like i said it just a storm just passed through we hadn't been in the pool a lot mine was still clean so i just tightened it back up and put it back on when you put it back on you want to make sure there's no leaks or anything and that everything is fine mine's is on tightly and it's fine if it had have been dirty what you can do is just clean the cartridge out with a water hose hose it down really good and put it back in there but if it's really gunky really dirty you want to go ahead and change the filter cartridge on your pool pump all right guys so after you have checked the pool filter your your pool pump you want to go ahead and use these test strips and they're going to help to determine whether the alkaline needs to be adjusted the um, alkalinity rather the pH balance the chemicals basically they're going to check to make sure that everything is in line if things are not the way they should be you will know by these test strips um, these they're the text strips so I could text my results to someone they could help me or I can just kind of look and see by on the back and then I could test that way or you could just take a sample of your pool water to a pool shop and they can test it for you and help you with the chemicals that you need. All right guys, so after testing and you see what your pool needs, you can go ahead and add what you need. My pool just needs a little bit of shock. Like I said, we had a storm coming through and the different chemicals in the rain and you know different things like that can cause a pool to be off with the pH balance and alkalinity. So it's very important that you keep it aligned um, the pH balance should be between 7.4 and 7.6 So you want to keep an eye on that, but right now my pool just needs a little bit of shock first so I'm going to go ahead not even a half a bag I'm just going to put a little bit in because it really doesn't need too much as you can see it's really clean So it just needs a little shock. I'm going to add that in. Oh one more thing the best time to shock your pool is at dusk or at night that way you can run the filter for a good six hours or so and that way it can just kind of move and get around in your pool and clean it so yeah you want to do it at dusk or at night shock in a bucket of water and dilute it that way since I don't have a real big pool I'm just putting it directly in the pool I'm going to stir it up with the skimmer in a pool this size you really don't need a lot of shock unless it's very like algae and it's kind of turning green and different things like that you haven't kept up with it in a long time so but just a little shock once a week should be fine you want to get it all distributed really good
when adding the chlorine, you can use a three inch puck or a one inch puck. Um, for this size pool, the 10 foot pool, I'm going to use a three inch puck, but I'm going to close this dispenser here. You can open it wide or you can close it to where just a little leaks out at a time. Since I just have a 10 foot, I really just need a one inch, but I have three inch pucks. So I can either cut them in half, you can cut them in half, or put the three inch in and just close it to where it's leaking out just ever so slightly and it'll get around to chlorinate your pool. So you add the puck into your floating tablet dispenser like that and it just drops to the bottom. If it's too strong, you can wear goggles. For me, it's not too strong. I can smell it, but it's not too strong. Some people wear goggles. Um, but I make sure to wear gloves because you don't want the chlorine getting all on your hands. So you put it in like so. And like I said, mine's is just ever so slightly open. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in the pool. Now, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and turn the filter pump on for the pool. As you can see, the pump is running. It's right over there. See it squirting in the water. All right, guys, so I am sorry that it's dark. I still have my little gloves on, but it's dark because I needed to add the shock at dusk or when it's dark so that I can let the filter run and, you know, kind of get everything together, with the filter and the shock and everything. So now I want to answer some frequently asked questions that I have gotten since I've set up the pool and let me go ahead and get into that. What size pool do I have? I have a 1,000 gallon pool. This 10 foot by 30 inch Intex Easy Set pool is a 1,000 gallon pool. How long do you need to let your filter run per day or how often period? You should let your filter run depending on the size of your pool as I understand. The, if you have a bigger pool, as I understand, it's eight hours per day. This pool right here, I believe it's fine to run about six hours per day. And that is if you're using it pretty heavy. Um, if you are not, I'm thinking about five hours every day is good. Four and a half to five hours per day is good. But what I have heard is eight hours per day and I didn't hear the, the gallon size or whatever for the pool, but I heard eight hours a day for a pool, you know, the filter to run is good. We used to keep ours covered up and it's pretty clean. So I would say, now this is just me, I would say a good five hours per day is good for a 10 foot pool. But you do your research and decide for yourself. Do you need a filter for your pool? Yes, you need a filter for your pool. Um, like I said, this is a 1,000 gallon pool. The 8 foot Intex pool, I'm not sure how many gallons that is, but it's still a lot of water to be, you know, dirty or the pH balance to be off and everything. So you need a filter to get that dirty, grimy water out, filtered, and get it back in your pool. How many times do you test your water? Test the water in your pool two to three times per week. Uh, three times if you use it, you know, pretty often, if you swim in it pretty often, at least three times a week, minimum two. You can get by with one if you're going on vacation or something like that, but then you have to shock your pool when you get back and make sure you chlorinate it and get the chemical balance, you know, all going good again. But yes, two to three times a week, you want to check your pool's pH levels, alkalinity, and all the other chemical stuff. All right, guys, and the questions that I get most often are, what are the little black things that are <laughs> included with the pool? These little three black plugs are to plug the holes so the water won't come flooding out when you are changing your cartridge in your pool filter. So they're to keep the water in when you're changing. Also, the question I get is, what's that little white piece that came in the box? This little piece here is to use to drain the pool. At the end of the season, you use this to drain the pool. It ties or it screws onto your holes, your, your house water holes. 
tie, screw that on there and then you insert this into the pool and the water drains out of your holes and you can direct it to the street or just away from the pool, away from the house to drain your pool. Also, you guys, this little black cap here is for when you're changing out your pump filter as well. Hey guys, if this video is helping you at all, please give me a thumbs up. Also, if you like to purchase anything that you see in the video from the pool to the tools that are used to help maintain the pool, you can look down in the description box below and use the Amazon links to purchase them there. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please share this video. A lot of people had questions about the Intex Easy Set Pool, the maintenance and different things like that. So please share the video. If you have any additional questions, I don't mind sharing the knowledge that I know. If I, if I know it, I will definitely share it with you. Please place the comments or the questions down below in the comment section. And thank you all for your wonderful comments. Oh my goodness, we were taken aback by the wonderful comments on the setup of our Intex pool because a lot of people are you know kind of confused by the instructions and we were too when we first started watching the you know the different videos for the setup of the pool so my aim was to make it as clear as possible for anybody else that may be watching you know or searching for instructions because that those instructions are hard so we wanted to make it as plain as possible so I hope with the three videos that I put up about the pool that they are answered hopefully almost all of your questions and like I said if not please insert your questions below and I will try to answer them as quickly as possible kind of hard getting to all the comments but I'll answer as soon as I can and thanks again love you all be blessed and I'll see you guys next time right back here on Tracy's place and check out all the other videos on the channel all right bye have fun with that pool